I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. The ICC says it will render a decision on whether the prosecution will be allowed to use the statements of six witnesses who recanted their evidence before July 16th. During a status conference held Friday, presiding judge Chile Aboye Osuja said the prosecution cannot close its case until the decision on using evidence of the six witnesses is made. The court is yet to settle on a date when parties to the case against Ruto and Song can conduct all hearings of the prosecutor's application, seeking to use initial statements of the six witnesses under Rule 68. Five of the witnesses recanted their evidence, while the sixth one refused to testify. In her application, Bensuda wants the court to use their primary evidence, arguing that they were corrupted by individuals acting on behalf of Ruto and Song. Kenyan-renowned writer Gogewa Diongo has called on adoption of native languages in court proceedings. He says continued use of the two languages, English and Kiswahili, limits the capacity of an accused person or both parties to argue their case, specifically those who cannot understand either of the languages. He was speaking during a visit to the Chief Justice, Willie Matunga, on Friday morning. It uh, affects, you know, even like when you, we have debates on democracy or, or when people go to hear uh, a president speaking at national days and so on, you know, uh, it does matter of what language is uh, used because language in so many defines the, the intended audience by language itself. On the international front, more than 150 people have now died in a devastating petrol station fire and heavy flooding in Ghana's capital, Accra. The fire hit a filling station in Accra late on Wednesday, causing an explosion at the pumps that killed dozens of people seeking shelter from torrential rains and widespread flooding in the area that also claimed numerous victims. As he toured the scene of the disaster, Ghana's president, John Mahama, described the loss of life as catastrophic and announced three days of national mourning from Monday with flags flying at half-mast after rescue operations finish. And now taking a look at the world of business, President Uhuru Kenyatta has signed into law the Division of Revenue Bill 2015 and the Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2015. The Division of Revenue Act 2015 provides for equitable division of revenue raised nationally between the national and county governments in the 2015-2016 financial year. The act indicates that the total county allocations in the new financial year will be 287.04 billion shillings, which translates to 37% of the audited revenue. The Supplementary Appropriation Act 2015 authorizes the release of the sum of 50.46 billion shillings from the Consolidated Fund for the utilization by the government in fulfilling its financial obligations for the remaining part of the financial year that ends on June 30th. And now taking a look at the world of sports, a Chilean playboy bunny claimed she had an affair with Real Madrid striker Cristiano Ronaldo before his breakup with supermodel Irina Scheich. In an interview with Mexican newspaper reformer Daniela Chavez alleges she got together with Ronaldo in November last year and claims she just wanted to fulfill a dream to sleep with the 30-year-old Portugal international. And that's a wrap-up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angela Wamboy. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV.